Hi guys, welcome back. I'm here with another video. This time we're learning about money. So what is money? Money is the medium of exchange. We use it to buy and sell things. So we can find money in the form of banknotes and coins. As you can see, you have your 200 Rand notes, your, uh, your 100 Rand, your 50, your 20, your 10, your five rand your five rand as well two rand one rand 50 cents 20 10 10 five cents two cents and one cents so in money you generally use um something called currency so currency is a is a, is a system that is used in different country in a particular country so the currency we use in south africa is rands in the United States, you would use dollars. In um, England, you'd use euros. Britain, you'd use pounds, and etc. So every country has its own currency. So, so for every um, uh, object or whatever good you want to purchase, you purchase it at a price. So the price is the value of that object. So here I've written down, I've drawn different examples with their prices. And I'm going to teach you how to use money, how to add it up and how to get to buy what you want with the, the money you have, the amount of money you have. So for instance, you have a mug here and it's nine Rand. So to add up money, you, you use your basic adding principles. So you're going to add it just the way you would add anything else. So now you want nine Rand. So you have five Rand. You have five Rand. And then you have two Rand. That makes five plus two makes seven. And then you have one Rand. Five plus two plus one gives you eight Rand and you want nine Rand. So you need an extra Rand. So now you'll have 50 cents and you'd need this would give you eight rand 50 so now you need a, uh, another 50 cents so 20 plus 10 plus 10 cents plus 5 cents would give you um 45 cents so now you need an extra 5 cents which you don't have See, you only have three cents. So this would total to eight rand fifty, eight rand seventy, eight rand eighty, eight rand ninety, eight rand ninety-eight cents. So you don't have an extra two cents. So what would you do? You'd rather buy using ten rand because ten rand is above the number. Um, the amount the mug costs so you would buy you would give your whoever you're buying the 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 the, the mug from you give them 10 rand and they'd give you change so the difference between the cost and how much you are um giving to the person so now they would give you how much do you think they would give you how much change do you think they would give you one rand that's correct so in a sum in a you'd have nine i mean ten minus one right minus nine sorry so this is the price and this is what you gave the person who's selling you the mug so zero minus nine that's impossible so you're going to borrow from your neighbor. Your neighbor is going to be left with zero. And then you will have 10. So 10 minus what? Nine is one. Right. Okay. So now let's move on to the next object. Um, you have a soccer ball. So your soccer ball is 20. The price of the soccer ball is 22 rand 30. Now you need 20 rands. A two rand, 20 cents, and a 10 cent, right? 
So you have 20 Rand plus 2 Rand, which is 22 Rand, and then you have 30 cents, so 22 Rand 30. So this is the amount you'd give for the soccer ball, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the next. Let's just put them in order again. All right, now you wanna buy a calculator, all right? So now this is a bigger price. So the calculator is 375 Rand 75 cents. So remember guys, um, 100 cents is equal to one rand. So you can only have cents, um, um, you can only have 99 cents after the, you can only have a whole number and the cents can only be up till 99 cents. Then it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole rand, right? Okay, so 375 rand, 75 cents. So you have 200 here, you have 100 here. That would give you 300 rand. And then you want 50 rand. So that would give you 350. And then you want to add 20 rand. And how much would you have? You'd only have 300 and 70 right and you're looking for 375 rand 75 cents so now you want to add a five rand and then you're going to have 375 but now you need 75 cents so 75 cents would be 50 cents plus 20 cents plus five cents so that's 75 cents. So altogether, that makes your 375 rand 75 cents. If ever you get confused, you can use your um, addition method to add up your, 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 what's this, your money and make sure you have the right um, amount of money for whatever you want to buy. So now let's move on to the chair. All right, so now you wanna buy a chair and the chair is a hundred rand and one cent, right? So you already have your hundred rand banknote here. So a hundred rand and then do you have one cent? Yes, you have one cent. So that would be the cost of the chair, the value of the chair. So a hundred rand and one cents, right? Okay, now moving on to the lollipop. Um, it's two rand fifty. I'm sure you buy these at your tuck shop. So how to know you can, now you have two rand, you have two rand and what's short? 50 cents is short. So you already have 50 cents here. So you're going to add it to your two rand and you're going to have two rand 50, right? Okay, so now for the final example, you have a backpack. It's running for 165 rand. Um, how would you add this up? You would give 100 rands and 50 rands. This would make 150 you'd also add six, I mean, 10 Rand to make it 160, but you need five Rand more. So you look for your five Rand and you add it there. So now you have 100 plus 50, which is 150, plus 10, which is 160, plus five, which is 165. Okay. So that's how you add up money. That's how you add up money and you get to buy whatever you want to buy. Just remember to add your cents as well, to add your banknotes properly and make sure you have the right amount of money. If you don't have a certain amount of money and you need um, to, for instance, want to buy something for 150, but you have 200, 
then you can give the 200 banknote and they'll give you change. That's when you subtract um, 50 Rand from 200. I hope this made sense. I hope this was fun. Um, thank you so much for paying attention. I'll see you all next in the next video. Bye.